Hello everybody. Today I'll be showing you how to write a program to test for primality to see if a number is prime or composite. So the first thing you have to understand is what is the difference between a prime and composite number. Now, as you can see, a prime number is a number only divisible by one in itself, while a composite number is a number that is a multiple of two numbers other than one itself. So with that understood, we can start the program. The first thing we want to do is prompt the user to enter in a number which we can then test for primality. So go ahead and go over to prompt and then go uh, enter in any variable, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use n to represent number. And then we have to start our loop to loop through every number in between uh, 2 and that number to see if uh, there are any factors in there. So go ahead and open a for loop right there. And the first argument of the for loop is a variable in which the current position of the for loop will be stored. So we can just go ahead and use a. And then the next argument uh, is where we're going to start. And we're going to start at 2 and not 1 because uh, we don't need to use 1 because every number is divisible by 1. All right, so we can start at 2. And the next one is where we're going to stop. Now we could stop at n, or we can stop at n divided by 2, and then we go halfway there. Because if you think about it, every factor corresponds to another factor, you know, farther down the chain. So if we only go halfway there, we and there aren't any factors, then we know that there aren't going to be any factors in the second half. All right? If you think of a, a factor rainbow, it make it uh, might make more sense that uh, we're only looking at one half of the symmetric rainbow. Alright, so now we have to do the test for divisibility. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up an if statement and then we're going to want to invert the result of the next part. So we're going to go second math over to logic not, which will invert this, and then we're going to go back to math over to number and select the f part command and this will take the fraction part of its argument which w the argument we're going to use is n divided by a All right, and then uh, colon then and so what this is going to do is we're going to take the fraction part of the result of this divi of, of this division n divided by a and then we're going to invert it and then uh, qualify, qualify it for an if statement so say we have our number 6 all right and we're going to go through the f we're going to enter the for loop at 2 right and we're going to see this if statement and we're going to test to see if uh, we're going to test to see if the f part of n divided by a exists all right and n divided by 2, our number our number 6 divided by 2, is going to result in 3. Now 3 does not have, that result 3 does not have a fraction part. It only has an integer part, all right? So this is going to return false. But then this not is going to invert that false and make it true, and then it will qualify for the if statement. So if that happens, then we know that our number is composite. So we can go ahead and display composite. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do is end the uh, program if that it finds the number is composite. We don't need to keep keep going through our for loop because we don't need to find out any more factors. It just needs that uh, that other set other than one itself. So if we find that, we want to display composite and then end immediately. So we can do that by going down to stop, and then we want to end the loops, our if statement, and then our for statement, our for loop. So and then if we can make if our number can make it through the for loop without ever going entering in this this if statement right here to display composite 
then we know that our number is going to be prime. So we can go ahead and write display prime. All right, so that is the entire program. To review, we prompted for a number n, and we entered a for loop that started at 2, stored that current value at a, and then went all the way to 2 divided by n, half of n, because we don't need to go all the way there. We only need to go half to optimize our program. Then we entered in a divisibility test which tested to see if there was a fraction part as a result of the division n divided by a, our, our number divided by our current place in the for loop. And if it did, then it would return false because there would be no fraction part. We'd invert that to become true, and it would qualify for the if statement and display composite. Now if it never made it through that, then it would come all the way down here and display prime at the end of the for loop. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and test it now. Go over, execute prime. Enter a number. Let's try 743, which I know for a fact is prime. Look at that. It's returned prime, and that is correct. Uh, let's try another one. Let's go 815 which is composite, obviously, because it's divisible by 5. Now you have to be careful here. Don't go crazy and use really large numbers because it'll take a while. Uh, <laughs> really, Your calculator is not the fastest computer, so that will take a long time using big, large numbers. All right, so hopefully you find this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you did, feel free to give me a comment or a thumbs up. Uh, and, uh, thanks for watching.